Yo 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 yo. Yeah yeah, big up. Yeah, it's a bit late now, but uh, I've just put the top. Like you can see here, I've just installed the top cylinder head for this machine. Uh, and what I did, I've just put everything. I put the belt, but uh, you untie these screws so that these pulleys can be loose, can just rotate without moving together with the shafts, with the cam shafts, right? Then what we do in here, as you can see, there are these lips here, these lips, and if you can just have a very deep look here, the lip that is underneath is uh, not as big as the upper one. And then it's the same as this one at the back. So like I was saying to you that I, I will show you how to set timing on this using my special tool that I've made for myself. Yeah, I'm just going to put uh, this tool here. Like you see, I'm putting this tool here just to lock this mm -hmm. yes 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 i put it here to lock these camshafts from the back mm -hmm. see then uh, i use my two bolts to just to ensure that it's stiffen uh -huh. and then I'm just tidying it up just to make sure that it's it's stable. Uh -huh. Just a moment. Come on, buddy, let's go party. Mm -hmm. All right. And I lock it here. I just lock it here. Just to make sure that it doesn't move. This shaft do not turn. And this one, I just lock it here on top with my special tool that I made myself. Mm -hmm. All right. That's it. That's it. This is how I lock it so that these shafts do not turn when I when I put the tensioner here. Uh, here is the tensioner. Here is the tensioner here. And then I'm just gonna pull it on so that I tie, I tighten this, uh, this, uh, it needs the bigger one, uh, let me just see this one. Okay. Let me rather use the hexagon one. The hexagon one. Let me rather use the hexagon one.
think. Ah, uh, this one is too big. Okay. <laughs> believe this one should be the size mm -hmm. yes it's the size then I put it here so that I can turn this pulley here I mean this uh, tensioner clockwise I turn it clockwise you see it turns with this pulley without affecting any of these camshafts you see then it's tight enough that it shouldn't be too much tight because the incident that happened here is because it was tightened very very heavy it was heavily tightened that's why it damaged this pulley here this idler pulley so i believe it's right here then what i'm gonna do is just tighten this I just tighten this We use this side. I'm just tightening this bolt, this nut here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm a little bit tired. I'm a little bit tired. It's flipping late now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's tightened now. It's tightened. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much tightened. <laughs> Yeah, then the bell is on. So after doing this, then I tighten my bolts here. I'm just, I'm just tightening my bolts. My nut here is not for this uh, size 18. So let me just use this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's locked at the back. Ne? I don't have to worry about this. It's locked at the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are done with the timing. And then, now I can pull off my device here. Mm, I'm taking off my device. Because I'm not done with the timing. Mm -hmm. I'm done with my timing. There it is. Big up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, they are straight now. And everything is tightened up. Yeah, I'm done. Now I'm going to put on uh, the manifold, this uh, intake manifold, then I kick it. Okay? Big up, man. <laughs> Don't forget, like, subscribe to see more videos. Okay? Mm -hmm.